Okay, now we're in the creepy greenhouse. And it is creepy. <laughs> I've got my dog with me to keep me safe again. And I did hear some really loud sticks breaking. So who knows, I may not be in here alone. But this is the um, greenhouse that's covered fully functional. They're going to turn the water on for me. It can be heated, but I don't think we can afford that. But hopefully this is a before and after. When you first walk in, you're bombarded with these weeds. And you've got the table and the dirt. I've got everything I need in here except for starts, plant starts and seeds. It's going to be a lot of work. So people wonder why I'm overwhelmed. This is why! Look what I get to rebuild. Okay. I'll get through this. Okay. When my little boy first came in here with me, he cried. Because if you look around, everything's dead. It's like one day they just left and said, we're done. It's all dead. It's all here. Like it was functional with hundreds of plants and they just left it. See, they all have the tags in. <laughs> There's a dog with a stick. All these pots. Such a waste. Oh, just dead. So hopefully, I'm going to be able to do something in here. I don't know how much, but it's going to look better than this. Here, woodpecker. Sprinklers, they work. I've got all the pots I need. Just need starts. I'm going to try some veggies and lavender and herbs. A few flowers. A lot of pumpkins. I'll start them in here and then plant them out in the garden. So I'm hoping by this fall, people can come. We'll have a little veggie stand where they can buy pumpkins and gourds and some veggies. And maybe come in my little shop I made in the basement, kind of, and you might buy some art. Some spooky hollow art. Because how spooky is this? I'm telling you. Spooky hollow farm. <laughs> no. I can't wait till it gets warmer. I can come in here and start. Where to start? This is it. This is my greenhouse. With all my dead little plants that I hope to bring back to life. So we shall see. So, Lori and Joy, I hope I can get you here. <laughs> I'll put you to work. We can actually have fun. If you get hot, turn the sprinklers on. The whole place will rain inside, isn't that cool? It even has lights, see? Lights. Light bulbs. Dead plants. And something walking. <laughs> okay, <laughs> some animal is walking over there and it's not very quiet. This morning I saw a coyote, but I don't think a coyote would hang out in the greenhouse. I hope. We had bunnies out here. Look at these. We didn't get here until late fall. But there were some flowers in here that actually lived and outgrew their pots and kind of took over. So it was almost pretty in some places in here. So this is before. And hopefully when it gets warmer and I get some plants in here and some loving care, I can show you a better app. Can't do miracles with just a little bit of money, though. So. Oh, tomato sticks. Hey. I find something different out here every time I come. Pots galore. Steaks. I even have giant bags of dirt. Right there's a giant bag of dirt. Okay. I'll go ahead and leave this on. So you can see. The outside of our farm that needs living care. The door needs fixed too, obviously. I've been getting here. 
there is the train station. My little boy loves it when the trains come. And when I take him to the bus, it's way down there at the end of the driveway. Way down there. That's all our front yard right here. I love it out here. Love it, love it, love it. Especially when it's warmer, it's so pretty. There's the other greenhouse with no roof. Can't do much with that yet. House up on a hill, hidden by trees. 